God is greater than Satan. Do you believe that today? Welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep, our daily devotional. My name is Tyler Candy, and I am the executive producer of all the content that comes from Central Baptist Church. It's great to have you here today. Dr. Brad Winnegar is our pastor and my mentor, and he's going to be with us momentarily. Before he gets here, I wanted to thank you guys personally. We have just surpassed 200 daily devotionals, and all of the likes and the shares and the comments and the watch views and the watch times, it's all an encouragement to us. And I want to encourage you, continue to watch, continue to like, share it with your family and friends, comment below, tell us how these daily devotionals are challenging you, changing you, affecting you in your Christian walk, and it'll be great to be able to interact with you there. Today, I wanted us to be able to watch this revisited daily devotional about God being greater than Satan. song, peppy song. I like it. It says in 1 John chapter 4, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try or test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. We read about this in Matthew chapter 7. There will be those at the judgment that will claim to have been preachers of the truth, when in fact they were actually uh, preachers of of, uh, of that which is erroneous, that which is false. And so there are many false prophets who've gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ of the Bible, is come in the flesh, is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ of the Bible, is come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. There it is. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Down in verse 6, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth, and the spirit of error. So in this world, there's lots of religion, but religion isn't necessarily right. It has to line up with the word of God. It has to be according to those qualifications just given to us. And we, as born again children of God, with the witness of the Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth, as it says in John's gospel, the 16th chapter, we're able to discern what is truth and what is error according to the word of God. Uh, we want to run as fast as we can because there are plenty out there who represent the spirit of error. Precious few today represent the spirit of truth according to the word of God. But don't, uh, don't despair. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Lord is greater than the world, the flesh, and the devil. And we will come through by his grace and for his glory. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. For those who've joined us today for devotions, and I pray that this will be a word of encouragement to all to claim that victory that we have in Jesus Christ and to know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And as we face the opposition of the world, the flesh, and the devil, help us to experience and rejoice in the victory in Jesus Christ and to share that with others. I pray that there'll be someone today who will cross our path that will come to know Jesus as personal Savior. And while our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you're not sure you're saved, would you call on Jesus right now? Just say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and save me right now. Take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And he'll come into your life and he'll save you. Won't you let us know if you've done that? And uh, if you're leading souls to Christ, please share that with us. We want to encourage you, pray with you, and uh, be a help to you. Let's pray for others as well right now. 
Lord, we pray for that one on the bed of affliction for whom we're very concerned. We pray for folks in the hospitals and, and in the care homes. I pray that you'll help them, each one. Lord, we pray for those that are discouraged and downcast, facing problems or challenges that they think are so great. Help us to remember that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We'll thank you and praise you for that victory. And may we rejoice in it in Jesus' name. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Oh, I want to sing this several times through. Sing it with me. Ready? Greater is he. God bless you.